This is the Monopod Show, which is EUC podcast number two. And we're going to go around the table and introduce everybody. So uh, we have the lovely Raymond, who's flown in especially. So Raymond, <laughs> tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, I'm probably the old timer. Wherever I go, I'm pretty much the old timer. Um, started unicycling in 2004. Uh, went over to electric unicycles with the solar wheel and the SBU, which is probably around 2009-2013. And I've worked my way through up to today, and I ride the S18, which to me is the best wheel that I've ever ridden. Um, the S20 was my wanted wheel, and we've yet to find out whether it will happen. <laughs> this jury to that. <laughs> Okay, so we have the lovely Roberto here, who is the founder of PET and general sort of uh, micromobility genius, I'd say. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I, yeah. I, I, is that I fair enough? Up, I tried to give up with well. technology. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to give up with the technology. Um, and <laughs> me and Nikos, yeah. you know already from last time. Nikos <laughs> is, well, troublemaker. Well, troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> chief, chief EUC mechanic at PET. And um, I'm Mark, who, uh, yes, I am also a member of the PET team, let's keep it like that. And flown in from Vancouver, which is not in Canada, apparently, <laughs> yes. Nathan. Yeah, hi, Nathan here, um, owner and founder of Rev Rides in Portland, Oregon, slash Vancouver, Washington. And uh, yeah, happy to be here. It's exciting to... Thanks for the invite to join the podcast. Nice yeah. to see you again. Totally, okay. So, we're going to go for a bit of news. Um, so, very, very quickly, because we took too long last time. In motion, big news is um, we have a decision on the V12, which took a lot of doing from Francois, who isn't here today, but was here for the last podcast. We've been kind of, what's a diplomatic way of saying, trying to convince In Motion to, to I suppose, do the right thing. Yes. and to push out new boards to everybody who's, who's, who's gone for the first batch. So that, um, I believe... We were successful. We, yeah, the, look, I think... I think they you know, decide to go that way. Yeah, and, you know, the community kind of, like, scored a win there. I think it's one of the first times that... Well, I, I suppose in motion they did it with the V10, to be fair. So, but, you know, it, 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 it was an expensive thing for them to do, um, and they've taken, a, taken the right decision. So that's, that's really good news. So, of course, we will try to get the boards as soon as possible, but... And also shipping stuff from China, now it's a nightmare, so that... Yes. But they're going anyway, we'll to fly those, right? Let's try. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. And, so you, you know, I, I, and all, all distributors of InMotion are going to get these boards, yes. so um, yes. PET, obviously, and, and everybody else. Yeah, we'll have confirmation from the institution in Spain, uh, same results, so yes. Yeah. Cool. Right, um, and on to the, um, the wondrous flower of Bigode. So, Rob, tell us about these new So batches. apparently everyone knows about the master, right? <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, Goldway has partnership with a company called uh, Litec for the to make better batteries. Better in a way, in a sense of safer, safer. And more powerful. Yeah, better performance. We hope. Um, they come with three flavors. Uh, one will be <laughs> a Samsung 50E uh, to uh, 2400 watt hours. That will be recommended for everyone. The one range and the one to lean too much on the wheel. So then they will have the Samsung 40T with 19 watt hours, uh, with 1900 watt hours. That will be more for powerful riders, people that really want to push it. Uh, with slightly less, I mean slightly, it's three watt hours, 300 watt hours less range. Okay, so it's people, not that would, bad. people would take that trade off. Yes, if they knew this. Yes. And then know. we have something in the middle, which for us, we think that in, in the offer on, on the options that they have already is the best with the with the Molicell cells P42A. Who's Morisell? I've never heard of them. Well, it's quite well known in the battery in the battery community. community. Yes, yeah. Nathan, have you heard of Morisell? Molicell. I have not. I had not heard of them. Well, I mean, I feel better now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, in terms of batteries, always everything is dominated by LG or Samsung. Or Panasonic. Or Panasonic or Sony. Or, yes. or some Chinese batteries. So this is the weird... Not ever heard of. This is the weird player that, okay. that is specialized in high-performance batteries. All right. Allows you to do a bigger draw. 
So we had um, Jason and, and Cohen earlier, and they, they do things like build skateboards, and they were all over that battery, weren't they? And they kind of they, they, they said that they weren't. So, so if I get this right, all of these three flavors are not what they were using before. Different because they were using LG totally. before. Yeah. Okay. But they were definitely into the. I mean, also, I mean, also, Litec, the company that made these battery packs, they also give you a safer BMS. Oh, so we don't almost, know if it's going to be... Is it a smart BMS or is it got... We don't know. We don't know. No. Okay. But it has a temperature sensor. Which well, that's good. That's, a, that's <laughs> a plus. <laughs> it yeah, is good news. So okay. if it's about to burst into flames, it will let you know. Well, this is the question that I went to, uh, to God. Send you, like, send you okay, an email. Okay, okay, it's, a it's, a, it's a temperature sensor, but who is, wh wh who is receiving the alert? And it's not connected to the motherboard. So... Okay, look. It's a smart it, VMS with the temperature sensor. All right. In, in summary, it's a step forward. Yes. And I, I, you know, and I think Correct. that... Um, uh, look, it, 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 it's progress. It's progress. It's been a long, hard fight. I don't, I don't know, Nathan, if you were in on this, but we were definitely in on this and trying to convince the guys at Big Old how, it, how important it is that they get this right. Um, now, there's confusion at the moment whether they're going to push these options out to all their wheels. I mean, I would suggest that if it's successful, they will because money talks, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's just keep on pushing. Because yeah, I mean, having an uh, EXN with a 50E, Samsung 50E will be amazing. It will be yeah. a really I mean, fast and yes. safe wheel. Fast and safe wheel. Yeah, fast and Despite safe is what we the want. <laughs> historical battery issues with Gatway, I mean, I still ride a Gatway. Uh, most of my employees ride a Gatway. I so ride a Gatway. We're, we're managing the risk, you know, we understand and, you know, we, we try to be careful with where we store them in business, but also at home. Um, one guy has a fireplace that he doesn't use, so he keeps his... In the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good place. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really convenient place. <laughs> but we all love Godway, so it's not like it's, uh, it's, I feel like it's been manageable risk, um, but it's great to see Godway making progress towards safety. Yeah. And well, performance, really. Because the, these cells, yeah, they cells fun. look really, really yummy. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've been talking yeah. about Can't this, this a lot, me. haven't we? I mean, like, you know, to, to try to get this dialogue going between us and the manufacturers so they understand that we're on their side. I mean, as you said, we all love Gotway. We all love Bigode. Yeah. Bigotti? Bigode? Do you say Bigotti or Bigode? Is it is it American? Still thing? Say <laughs> <laughs> I say extreme. So I say extreme ball to you. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so like trying to collaborate with these guys and to make them see that look, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of us would pay a few hundred quid or a few hundred dollars more. I mean, I know, mo you know, money's hard to come by at the moment. But let's face it if, it, if it's that or having to build, you know, safe rooms for your unicycle whenever you sort of put it on charge or leave it alone. Then you know you're going to take you're going to take something that's a bit safer for for a couple of hundred extra bucks, you know. So and and obviously the program the progress we made within motion. Um, I think I think you know hopefully let's be optimistic and we're starting to get through to these guys. Yeah. Um, right, I think that's is pretty the, much. Is there is there solid state on the horizon? Solid state batteries. Well, is there solid state in any horizon? That's yeah, that's a, that's a kind of a future. Uh, you know. So. <laughs> let's hope so. So I mean, technology look. is there. Or they said that they found it, but there is no application yet for it. So okay. there's a lot of battery tech coming, isn't there? I mean, well, yeah, look, I mean that's that's our whole type, another yeah, episode. Yeah, so we'll get on to that. <laughs> well, any news on the Max? In terms of Max, yeah. When's it coming? Sherman. How what have you guys been told? Um, we don't we don't offer the Shermans in, in America. Oh really? Um, but I've ridden one and you know, I don't I don't normally ride a Sherman, so I it's hard for me to really compare the Max to the original Sherman. Um, so I, I think it was good. It felt balanced. It felt confidence inspiring. It was fast, smooth. Um, but I, I can't compare it too much because I don't ride a Sherman. Okay. I mean, here we have Nikos. Nikos is a Sherman rider. Yes. yes. He... I haven't ridden a Max yet, so I cannot really say. What's the latest I, leap? I again? like that. <laughs> the Sherman Max. I mean, there's no really... <coughs> they give us a date? Well, it's underwater, so I guess it will be two weeks away. Really. Oh, okay. So that's okay. Promise. Fine. Okay. Cool. 
So not too far away then. So we are here um, really to talk about this guy. Can you see that? Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> the S20 <laughs> Eagle has landed. Yes. Ta -ta -ta. Right, so it's round the table time. Um, I have to confess, I haven't had time to gel with it yet. You know, I bounced up and down on it and the suspension works, it feels groovy to me. Um, but you guys okay, have spent on, some more time on it. On your experience, from zero to five, let's do a quick poll. How far? I mean, for you, it's also your first day. Well, what you have seen, you rate it. Yes. So I did. So from zero to five. Well, to uh, zero to five. I mean, you know. I mean. Well, I, you can count the build, construction, everything. How it I'm looks. not. I'm not gonna I, work off your score sheet. Look, <laughs> okay. Look, I think. Look, it, I, it's it's. So I look think at it, it's a five. It's a five to look at. To, to look at. To look at. Yeah. Okay. You so look on a lot of levels. It's a five. I mean, there's not much that 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 that's wrong with it. It's just. I mean, to a certain See. extent. The seat, yeah, the seat's not great. I heard that. So I mean, look, there's some niggles. There's some niggles, there's but niggles. but the the wheel has moved the game on for sure in terms of the, the integrity of the design. Obviously, I mean, people are still trying to get their heads around the 126 volt thing. You know, whether it makes a difference or not, or whether it was worth doing, I don't know. I mean, uh, Ray, you can, <coughs> you can probably tell us, talk us through that. Um, I mean, the back, the structural kind of casing for the batteries, the metal casing, all good. The suspension's next level. There's a lot of nice touches, like the stand, you know. There's a few niggles that need ironing out, but my God, they've made... Lights are amazing, grace. to be honest. Yeah. The lights are really good. I mean, look, let's face it. When, I, when we first read the spec of the Eagle, it was like, yeah, right. You know, yeah. And, and they've pretty much pulled it off, which is, yeah. which is real progress. Yeah. So, you know, for me, on that level, it's got to be a five. But I haven't jobbed with the wheel yet. Okay. You know, and it's, uh, you know so... It. Maybe we can do a review on the next one. Yeah, maybe we can. <laughs> Nikos, you've ridden it more than all of us here, so what do you think? I think, I think that is a four, but it has a lot of potential to become a five. So with an aftermarket spring, because I don't really like that it's so hard, and... We improve it a bit. I think that we nah. tight too much the... Nah. Anyway. And, uh, like... You are light as a feather, though, yes. so that, that, you know... Like, the wheel is really steady. Uh, I really like the the way that you know accelerates. It doesn't break like really fast, but that is on the ride as well. I mean, it's a good wheel. It's a good product for sure. Yeah. For me, I would put a four. Still, the five is still not there because I, I don't know. I've been yeah. I've been looking at the internet and looking at other reviews. Uh, the wheel itself. I mean, for me, for me, I'm 60 kilo rider. So it's a really you're, top oh, heavy wheel. You're a what so rider? 60 kilos. Oh, a 60 kilo. I, yes, yes. I thought you said testicular. <laughs> I was like, no, what? This kilograms. is a different podcast. Completely. 60 <laughs> kilograms rider. So for me, it's still too heavy to manage. Yeah. But yeah, it looks pretty, pretty well done. I mean. We took the, we got the S20s in a couple weeks ago. We took them to Portland's Friday night ride, which is a pretty famous ride. We have over a hundred people in the summertime. Wintertime now, you know, it's like 50 people show up on a weekend. And then we took it to Seattle, let everybody test it there. And then we drove down to LA and let people test right there. And out of everybody's who tested it, overwhelmingly positive review. People really like it. They were, they thought the suspension was well-designed and like not uh, squeaky or, or clanky. Like the, the S18 was their King Song's first suspension wheel, which is good, but it's still, the suspension's kind of noisy and, and a little bit soft. The suspension is stiffer on the S20, but um, I think it's it's necessarily stiffer because um, if it's really an off-road wheel or, you know, even in the city, if you want to, you know, jump down, you know, a step or fall off something, it, it won't bottom out like the S18. Yes, correct. Yes, yes, out, yes, you know, yes, correct. And I'm really light as well, so that's why like on my 60 kilos, it doesn't really work for. Yeah. Yeah, Nathan, these guys are super, super They're skinny, right. super They're fast metabolism. They're feathers. They are the yeah. faster riders. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I give it a four and a half. There's always room for improvement. Yeah. Um, but I'm really happy with it, and I love that the the main the main structure is all aluminum, right? You've got mm -hmm. the nice nice new rim that's looks really, really durable. You know, we haven't had anybody crack a rim yet that I've heard. 
And then you've got the aluminum cases that the batteries are in on both sides and the aluminum casting on the top that holds all together. Yep. I'm pretty impressed with the overall yes. main so, structure. Um, it's the plastic accessories, like the bumper gets broken easily. I mean, mine's busted off here. I, I think everyone's um, is. Ours is, yeah, ours yeah, is yeah. crack as well already, yeah. yes, yes. But they're gonna fix but that, they've already fixed broke it. Off. Yeah, but that's easy so, to fix. It's easy to, the suspension also, I'm talking about suspension is really w well protected in case of Right. tumble rolling stuff like that so yeah we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of really good aftermarket stuff come out for this wheel because oh, yeah. it's super the way they designed it you know even where the bumper amounts there's like four holes that it just bolts right to so you can mount something really really well oh, sure. here. there's good mounting surfaces nice flat mounting surfaces and even the pads we do get complaints about the pads you know Every everybody's kind of likes their own pad setup and little differences here and there. Um, but the beauty of this is is the the pad mounting surface is just a big flat right. surface. That's it. Yeah. It's really like clever. an S eighteen, it was this concave mm -hmm. weird shape. You had a really hard time customizing any pads. So I, I I really like that aspect. Everybody can do their own pad setup. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. We're I think there's an inherent rightness you look at it yeah. and you look at how the whole thing is structured where the batteries sit how the suspension works where the controller is there's an inherent rightness to the design i mean if you think yeah. about the old sort of molded plastic shells that everyone's been using for time and i remember when i first looked at that and i was like really is that the best way and back then I was kind of thinking, well, hang on, what if, do you remember we had that whole chat about it? What yes. if we had a frame where you could hang the batteries off it? Which is what they've basically done. You know, not, not to say that we were geniuses or anything. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that, you know, to a certain extent, it, it kind of lays out itself, doesn't it? When you think about it, it's yeah. sort of, you know, you think, all right, well, we can just hang the batteries and it, it just does. The simpler, the better. That's why it's 126 volt, because the batteries just sit five by six, double rows to each side. It comes out to 126 volts. Okay. So I mean, it's a bit kind of talk with the 4P configuration. Yeah, the 4P. Which it doesn't, you cannot really draw on that much power. The same problem with the S18. Well, so the S18 to me is not a problem. The only, um, it doesn't, it hasn't got the range. That's the only thing. Yeah. No range. So this, four, this 4P thing, so let's get this straight. Mm -hmm. so, so basically each line is how many amps? Is that what we're talking about? So it's four times yes. a certain number of amps. Yes. I think that's what Adam was kind of saying when he was looking at Bigotti. It's like if you, if you only have a certain number of um, sort of like parallel kind of arrays, then it limits how many amps you can pull, right? Yeah. I think it's something like so that. So the more parallel, you can divide yeah. the, the, the drone on amps. You right. can divide it by more cells, okay. by more packs, really. Yeah, okay. So, all right. Um, so that might be a limiting factor. I mean, that could be something to do why there's been a few cutouts, but maybe that's not. I don't know. Well, and I think that we, you can feel that like it doesn't accelerate as fast as a Sherman, it doesn't accelerate as fast as an RH, and it doesn't break as fast as a Sherman. So it sounds like it's yeah. yeah. limiting the amps. So, yes. yeah, it doesn't break. So, so it doesn't really give you the space to lean or over lean back. Because of, uh, because, of course, King Song will put a cap on it, won't they? It's not like Bigotti. They, like, Bigotti don't have any no, cap. Course. They'll just of pull course. as many amps yes. as you like. Yeah. Whereas this one will go, yeah. well, no, not having it, right? Yeah. So, which... Which is why Bigotti has, you know, fire issues. They've, they're pushing too many amps for letting it get too hot. Yeah. Um, King Song's always been the conservative firmware. Yeah. Um, and so, I, it, you know, to see a 126-volt wheel or 136-volt wheel come out from Bigotti... I think we'll really be able to see the power that you get from 126 volts. 126 volts from coming from Kingsong, they, my impression is that they, their firmware is still pretty conservative, that we didn't really get the full yes. potential. I think so too, yeah. Have you got any feelings on 24 MOSFETs or 12 MOSFETs? Well, on the master, which is the 24 mm. MOSFETs, mm. makes sense for the new cells that they are using, for more yes. powerful cells. So that you can deal with more power, dividing more, more, more MOSFETs. On this type of cells, 12 is enough. It's depending on how much current you, you want to pull, really. I want to pull more. But yeah, well, yeah everyone. <laughs> the more the better. I mean, there is a little <laughs> hinge there. I, mean, I want to stop when I want to stop. <laughs> on, the, on the Kingston Dealers app, 
you have uh, the next update that they recommend yeah. us not to do it yet. Okay. Uh, on the change log, it says uh, so allow more time for a burst, which is how much you can pull the excess from the battery. So in yeah. already on that update, it's already they are giving you more burst time. So I guess that maybe they are trying to compensate this kind of three meters. Don't yeah. don't sand it. I don't know. Don't leave. Yeah, yeah. Disappointed. Yes. Well, people have said so. From 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 the, the reviews I've seen, people are kind of saying it doesn't have that immediate, like oh. you know, with an RS, you, but yes, you just got that. Speed. Yeah. So once you get going, <laughs> the power's there and it's quite linear and it's nice, but basically it doesn't have that initial bite. Yes. That that, that right. seems to be the general feedback, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Okay. And that's a joy. The initial bite is a joy. The initial stopping, in fact, roaring away and breaking like an idiot is actually quite nice. But I find all the bigger wheels, I mean, like, you know, yeah. even the Sherman or, or anything, no, nothing has that uh, initial bang. No, the Sherman has it. Does it? it? Yes, it has. Yeah. Nathan, you just have to what, what yank it. What are you getting on the S20? And the Sherman doesn't what, even beep. What when mileage? Even you. How I far is it going? <clears throat> okay, range. Yeah, the yeah, big, the big elephant in the room. room. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well... I wish I had my kilometers memorized. No Sorry, worries. guys. No, but, no worries. Um, Miles, fine. Well, I've... We sent out a 220-pound rider, and his name's Kane, and we sent out Douglas, our employee, who's 174 pounds, on a range test, and they tried to maintain 25 miles an hour. You know, obviously, the average ends up being more like 15 miles an hour, but when they're just cruising, they tried to go 25 miles an hour anytime they can. And no hard accelerations, you know, they weren't trying to do a minimum range test, just the average riding range test. And they got 50, I think it's 56 miles on a 220 pound rider. Really? So, I don't know, kilometers, yeah. And then 64 miles is what Douglas got at 174. Wow, miles. that's better than I would have thought. <clears throat> and what is that, flat he, or what? It was pretty flat. The highest elevation on the ride was 470 something 472 feet i think it was above sea level we have the youtube video on the range test which gives us specs 472 feet and but the total over the whole trip you know up and down if you just add up all the the heights it was 3999 feet so 4000 okay. feet of elevation total gain over the ride and they were just in portland wow. kind of by the river so you know little ups and downs around but mostly flat so they've gone 4000 feet up across the Hang on, they didn't recharge at any point. No, didn't recharge at any point, but that's like cumulative. So every little up, they just, you know, and then you go back down and then you have another up, they just add that. Oh, uh, right. So it's not, they haven't ended up 4,000 feet in yet. I was going to say, right. I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, so you've got like a hydrogen <laughs> cell or something. Like, how does that work? Yeah. The highest ever one was 472 feet. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. And no, were they stopping and starting or was it just. They started and stopped a lot. They took a lot of breaks. Okay. Well, I mean, it was a review also from EVs uh, with Marty. Uh, yeah. They did 64 miles. They charged. They charged. They yeah. stopped to charge. Yeah. They said that they they think that they charged 15, 20 percent. Yeah, that's 15, 20 percent. Uh, um, but yeah, it was 64 mm -hmm. miles on a on a high speed hill. But they charged. Yeah. They charged. So it's not 64 miles. Yeah, but I think they went up quite a yeah. big old gradient. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Well, well, Jimmy Chang also just did a, a uh, range test just yeah. yesterday. They posted the YouTube video, and they got over 50 miles. Seriously. And they were trying to do 30 miles an hour okay. continuously. Well, that's way better and than so I thought it would do. Their, their average, our average was like 15 miles an hour. Their average was, um, I think it was 20 or 25. Okay. I'll go rewatch the video, but it was fa they did a faster range test than us, but they got you know ten percent less range. So it is and a two hundred twenty pound rider. So it's it's holding up pretty well. What's going on? Um, Ian's well, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Ian, Ian, Ian did really bad, but he yes. was off road. He well, did. Yes, he's fourteen so stone, it. and he got twenty six miles and twenty nine miles to dead. So yeah. So look, he's look, different. He, well, hang on, there's, there's a few factors. There Ian is, is heavy, tall. So it's big and tall and heavy, number one. Right? The weather has been crap. Cold. The wet, freezing cold, that makes a difference. So is that speedy feet? Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ian's speedy feet. Yeah. So yeah, it feels like he was trying to do a minimum range test. Like yeah. as fast he as always he does that. Yeah. He yeah. always does okay. that. You know, fair play so, to him. 
what I would like to do is do a, like a, a known, um, like an 18XL, and then the S20. That's a good idea. Side by side on the same track, you know, and, and see the range. So we can at least compare it, you know, put the same, same weight of rider, everything. Um, so we have an apples to apples comparison for range from a known constant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we might do that. Yeah, it's just it's just whether the, the extra volts, you know, obviously the the eighteen XL is an eighty four volt wheel, so you know, is is the one hundred and twenty six volt wheel less efficient? Maybe not. So you know, yeah. maybe not is the answer to that question. Yeah, it should it should be more efficient. The higher yes, voltage should correct. be more efficient. Really? Correct. You you yeah. need less amps. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it it. Well, it seems it pretty be, efficient. It should have re, it should have good range. Um, yeah. Any wheel that you push hard, I mean, it, I, I try to tell people, compare it to your gas in your car, your miles per gallon, is if you're driving conservatively, you're getting good miles per gallon. But if you if you floor it and you're going, you know, 100 plus miles an hour, it, you're going to get terrible gas mileage, half of what you would normally get. Mm. The same thing with wheels, man. You just go hard out. Yeah, speed, you're speed. Nothing. It's speed is a killer for sure in range. Yeah. But yeah, but then a performance car is, is, you know, even if you sort of like drive it like your grandma, it's never, it's never going to, you know, all that potential for speed costs, yeah. you know. So, so I mean, which, which could have been the thing with this wheel. I mean, it's a performance wheel. It could be like, you know, the extra volts and the extra potential could have meant it was less efficient, but, but evidently not. If it's doing 50, 60 miles, that's a really good result on a 2.2 kilowatt hour battery. It's a heavy wheel. So yeah, okay. props to them. So cool. we jump different right. steps here. Yes. Come on. Okay. It's my <laughs> job, isn't it? It's my job. All right. So well, all right. So what are the niggles then? Because I mean, I was going to say range, but let's strike that because you know, let's face it, 50, 60 miles, yeah. all good. It's the real light. What the rule? Real light cluster. Okay. Yeah. Well, the yes. lights. Are, the lights are bullshit. Let's let's just say it like it's they need to work on it. And obviously, showing blue light in the I rear like that. is Sorry. really silly. Um, oh, <laughs> the blue light. I'm pretty sure it's not you lawful. figured out that you can you can once it's turned on. If you click the headlight, click the power button. Right. It'll change the mode of the rear tail lights to a, a mode where it's always red. Oh really? really? Uh, 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 <laughs> show us. <laughs> show, us. show us. Yeah, show us. That. Can you turn it on? <laughs> Is it is it is it now going to sort of like just run off that stand and just go crazy? Yeah, I was just gonna. I was just realizing that I gotta. I can't turn. Don't it hey, don't worry about it, Nathan. No worry, Nathan. Nathan no worry, it's fine. We'll take your word for it. Sure. I'm All right. Sure, so. Okay, um, we'll, we'll tell know. you what. We'll test it and then we'll maybe cut in an no, overlay. No, no, no. Don't the, do it. The internet trolls. The internet it's gonna trolls behind my head. If I ah! <laughs> Jesus. No. No. Ours is always purple. Yeah. Oh, ours is always purple. Ours is always Prince. Is what it is. <laughs> the world's asking song because I agreed. If it's not possible to make it always red, they need to change that. Of That's course, wrong. they need to change it. And also yeah, the whole indicator going. thing. It's like I mean, yeah. like, well, if you're if you're leaning and turning left, you don't really need a flashing light telling everyone that you're leaning and turning left, right? The whole idea of an indicator is you're about to do it, not that you're doing it. <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so they need they need a bit of a rethink on the lights. Um, right, so the plastic bumper handle, I think they've already done that, haven't they? So but, everyone went. Yeah, but they put that hard. Yeah, it's so it's a stronger plastic. Right. Okay, yeah. but yeah. it's going to shatter. By the way, yes, it's the stronger. It's going to be a cheap material. So now to replace, you again. can break a wall now. Oh, sure. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, what else? So the uh, water no. handle. The top waterproofing. Hand. That's okay, right. Trolley handle. Before we go into yeah, <laughs> hang on. into deep waters, uh, <laughs> before we go into deep waters, uh, the trolley um, handle. Trolley handle. Me having the wheel three days, I don't really like it. It's, it's, it's awkward. It's, yeah, a bit, it's, it's a bit areas. It's a bit Godway areas. If you have the wheel the wrong way around. Okay. <laughs> yes. So what, what, what they appear fun. to have done is that they've they've looked at like the MSP and RS and thought that's a great solution. Let's copy that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, obviously not. I mean, look if you look at the design. I mean, where else were they going to stick it? It's a bit tricky, yeah. isn't it? Right. I mean, look if you yeah. the, the trick no, is. No, they think... could have put it in the middle. They could have. How? Separate the batteries. Run it down the middle. Why? Well, no, it would be wider. No, no, no. no, no. Wider, Separate the batteries into four packs and then run the like the. Ah, okay. Yeah. Down, yeah. down the middle. Yeah. They, they've got a metal. No, I'm telling you, I mean, they, they can run a slider the down the middle. So the, the battery actually has a shape. And you want the packs to go further back because the 
when you put the pads on, they come off the, off the end of it. Yes, correct. So you actually want the battery pack wider. Okay, safe to say they're not going to do that anytime soon, so why? I think they're stuck with it. Why, why? Oh, yes, yeah. correct. Yeah, 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 yeah correct. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that worked. Yeah. Okay. That's where the handle should go. Well, they didn't do it. So whether they can yeah. do that, you know. King Song has always had the best trolley handles. They not not anymore, they don't. No, not they used to. <laughs> not anymore. They agree, they used to. Especially the diagonal. Yeah, the diagonal one was great. 16X kicks ass, let's face it. Yeah. All it's, right. It's Mar VMS. Yes, they have a Smart VMS. Ooh. It is wonderful. You connect in the firmware and you can see the voltage of every cell. Can you? Beautiful. Yes. Oh. Yes. Every single cell. And it's numbered. Do they? Yes. yes. Okay. New app. I'll fit a new app, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we that's go? a massive but step only, forward, uh, Let me confirm that. Uh, only on the soft turner app. Correct. Tuner? No, on so, tuner. Sorry. So far. <laughs> no, on the <laughs> consumer app. No, on that one. Not, uh, no. Yeah, you know, I haven't tried that. But can, no, but I think you're no right. I've been looking at it. No, no, no. no. Gonna, so what does it, I, I what does it do? It so, okay. So as I understand it, the smart BMS is always kind of like looking at the voltages in each cell and can tell pretty quickly if there's a problem. Per group. Right. Yes. Okay. So what does it do if it, if it diagnoses a problem? Well, you can see if, the, if it's unbalanced. Yeah, but you can't because you're a consumer. So what does yes, the wheel exactly. do? Yes, exactly. So, right. Do we know what the wheel does if there's a problem? No, we don't know what the wheel does. Well, it's we'll ask King Song, and if there's an answer, we'll put it up somewhere. I mean, yeah, presumably it it's gonna you know shut it down and not not allow you to, to charge it. Otherwise, it's not that power. smart, is it? Because well, that's what <laughs> that's what causes you know some of these fires is you get one mm -hmm. battery or one bank of cells that gets all under voltage, under charge, and it doesn't balance again. There's some issue with that battery pack, and then eventually those batteries short out. And yeah. <clears throat> yes. So I. I want to learn more about this technology, the smart BMS, because we did do a, a full dunk test on ours. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I might have seen yes, that, yeah. Yes, we saw yeah, that, we saw yeah, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Shibby fell off a waterfall, a fountain. <laughs> but not for and long, I mean, it was quite quick. Oh, come on, yeah, it went so in the water. But it was it was definitely it went in the water, but he grabbed but it quite fast. A few I seconds, a few seconds, did, come on. Um, it was a short bath, but it was a bath. Full bath. It was a full dunk, yes, <laughs> and I have the batteries here, and they're both burned. Um, the the pre-production packs are not uh, sealed. No. Like, all our other batteries we've ever gotten have, you know, like that that uh, shrink wrap, plastic around them, and then, you know, silicone where the, where the cables come out. These, uh, these battery packs are... Yeah, but I guess, I guess that they use, instead of Mmm, lovely. It's just this this plastic is like you, that's straight to the board, right? Yes, yes, correct. No ceiling at all. But I think I think I think it's the casing what they use as a instead of wrap the metal casing. But, yeah. yeah, it's always good to use both. But yes, absolutely, <laughs> yes. So, yes. See. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah right. Oh my God. And I have it sitting on a sitting on a fireproof blanket here, so. If we have a, <laughs> if we have some fireworks <laughs> prepared. So what did they give a waterproof rating on on the battery? I've heard people say there was an IP rating, but I didn't. I didn't get informed from. By the way, I, I guess that you got the wheel and the battery separately. We did. Yes. We installed them. So you installed them. So there is a rubber gasket. I mean, everything yep. seems like it's gonna be tied there. So where the yeah, water came like, from? Well, hang on, just from the top. So they, they made an effort to seal the battery compartment. Um, there's a few weaknesses, um, obviously where the power button is, people have commented yes. that where the, where the um, or I guess where the motor cable comes into yes. the bottom all of right. the board. It's like, there's no gasking at all there. And I, I put that to uh, a pre-production, you know, lack of putting silicone in those. I don't think that was intentional from King Song, like well, the long-term design. Um, I don't think it's ever going to be totally okay, water part, if, if the, you know. If the enclosure of the battery is sealed, so the only way to get the water is from the where the power cable goes up to the motherboard. Yeah. So, so that's the only like a, that's the only part the other, that the water come in really. 
Where the headlight, where the headlight cable yes. comes into the side of the okay, yes, of the case. Yeah, they do have a rubber gasket there, but it's you know it's definitely a point where water could get in because okay. without that, it is completely sealed. You have a battery inside. And yeah, that's why. I mean, on both top and bottom with a rubber gasket. Yeah, it's pretty good, but those headlight cables uh, could be a problem. Okay. But again, you can put silicone around it, to seal it. So I, I think. The production wheels are going to be pretty water resistant, but I'm not going to test it again. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not a submarine. You know, it's like... No, but... Yes. It's not, you know, you, it's going to be sealed against rain, though, let's face it. Look, but yes, don't but go because, into any lakes. Because I fit the battery myself, I put the screws, I put the, I saw the gasket. I saw, even if you, as quick as it dropped into the water, it wasn't that long. Two seconds, three seconds in the water. It wasn't deep either, was it? It wasn't, and, it wasn't a lot of yeah. pressure. Yes, and Nathan was telling me there was a lot of water inside. It's like, uh, where? Yeah, where did it come in? From, from the top. From the, the top or the bottom? From the top or from the from the light table? Really. Or except it's a casket, it, like it didn't really see it. It looks like it came in one end. It looks like it came in from the top, I believe. The, ba the bottom's pretty simple yes. and pretty sealed. Yeah. Um, so I, I believe it came in through the top. The When I unscrewed, because we were on the side of the road and, you know, Shibby crashed it in the lake. He called me and said, hey, this the battery's making a hissing noise. we got to get this thing, and I don't have any tools. And we just finished the race. This is the day after the race. Um, and so we had all of our tools and everything there. So I met him at the RV. We pulled the tools out. We quickly unscrewed the battery, the bottom of the battery thing. And when I unscrewed it, just water just poured out. Oh, shit. Like it was taking a piss. So it, it, it was wet. Um, and I'm not sure where that water came in, but... It didn't. It wasn't underwater very long, and there was a lot of water inside of it. Okay. Okay. Well, there, so, there's a few things there that we uh, of unknowns. We don't know if it's because it's pre-production. We don't know if the production models are going to be sealed better. I mean, I, I doubt it's going to have an IP rating that allows it to be fully submerged anyway. So you know. But hey, all right. So but move, we're go on. We're going to investigate it more and try to get feedback to King Song. Okay. On anything we've learned. Yeah. But yeah. Not very happy with this. Uh, well, tires. So, tire design. So, we, we, there's mixed. There's mixed views on this. Yes. So, I mean, I think Adam didn't like it. Um, I think Ian liked it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you like it? I don't like. You it. don't like it. <laughs> do you hey, like Nathan, it? Do you like it? I like it. Do you <laughs> like it? I mean, she liked it. She really liked um, it. It is. It's a very really flat profile. Yes. You know, it's not very rounded. It's pretty flat. And it's really like sharp edges. Is when, yes. Is when you're cornering hard, you do hit that edge. Um, yeah, Jason said that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jason said that. And I think the flatness of it makes it feel top heavy. Oh, you mean because that little? Mm, it yeah. doesn't right. want to turn. The wheel doesn't want to turn because it's it's not rounded. It's not a single point. It's like that a flatter is, surface. Why would they? So do I think that? that makes it feel top heavy. I want to put like round. a Kenda yes. or a street tire on it that's mm -hmm. rounded and see if it makes it not feel top heavy. Yeah, yeah, we we ordered it already. Yes. So yeah, we are gonna try to put a road yeah. tire. Let's see. Yeah. But on the, on the flip side, it seems to be quieter than the tire on the the yes. Sherman, doesn't it? And also, it doesn't tram line as badly because I think the tread pattern isn't. Like you know, totally linear. Yeah. So you know, it's got some pluses. But again, you cannot yeah. really lean with it. Like, I think well, there's an answer sleeps. to that. Don't ride it like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a cruisy wheel. It's, you know. <laughs> um, right. So that's a tire. Okay. Tire changing is a problem, isn't it? Yes. Well, I don't know. Have you tried? I have not tried. You haven't tried yet. I watched uh, the tear down video. We'll probably do it. I mean, it's Friday already. We'll probably do it uh, this weekend or early next week. Change the tire, but I watched the break, the teardown video that Kevin. Is it Kevin? Um, Kevin. So we invited yeah. Kevin on actually, but unfortunately he, he was busy. He could have told us yeah. all about it. But yeah, his teardown video was painful. Let's face it. It didn't look. Yeah, it did not look easy to change the tire. Yeah. And for an off-road wheel, that's terrible because you know you're you're gonna be popping tires and, and blowing beads. You know, you come off a big jump and you, you land wrong and you blow the bead. I mean, aside of um, the quality of the bolts, just, you know, it's, it takes kind of, you have to move all the batteries out to get yeah. to the axle. That's understandable. Well, uh, yes, but... Uh, S18 was... <laughs> you can put a plug, you know. And S18 was like this, oh, like again, so you well, have hang to on, you. So they're going to do better quality bolt screws. Well, engineering for screws. sure, yes. 
Yes. King Song said okay. they're improving the, the bolts. Yes. I heard them. Yeah. Say that, so. Yeah. Okay. It became quite important, didn't it? Yeah. But I mean, this stuff needs to be thought about. I mean, something something like you know changing a tire, it can't mean that you have to completely strip the wheel. Yeah. It should never be more like a, you know more than an hour to do, which is which is what it certainly looked like. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's, so there's a few niggles there in terms of sort of serviceability to use a horrible word there is a knocking sound in some cases in the motor you yeah, guys have three problems. we have three demos and yeah. one is knocking knocking what kind of knocking ours is fine um, <clears throat> so there's a there's a slight different sound when the bearing goes bad it's more of a grinding yeah it's like and a pop. this is this is a pop, a pop sound yes. every rotation and it's happened on other Gotway wheels that we've had. And what we find is that the, the two cases, when they go together on the outsides of the motor, they have a bearing on the, you know, on each side. If one of those cases gets bolted on a little out of center or a little crooked, you, you don't do like a star pattern when you bolt it on that as it rotates, it flexes that bearing just a little bit yeah, because and the housing goes pop, 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 yes. pop. So we believe that's all it is. We don't think it's a bad bearing. We think it just needs to be, you know, in some of the jumping we did or something that the something got out of alignment. We need to loosen everything, realign the two motor hats, and I think we'd we'd fix it. I mean, yeah, we have this on the our sermon. We have the yeah. same bobbing now. Yeah, it's noise, weird, so. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. We haven't got to the bottom of it really yet. No, no I mean, I'm, we, I'm, we, we knew from the beginning that this we is, knew that this is gonna be the yes. thing. Is the only thing oh, left. Okay. All right. But because we didn't have any <laughs> side covers <laughs> to compare, so. Okay, so, all right, anything more to say on the motor, or we're just going to kind of... No, I mean, suggestions, I will, I will, if we go into suggestions to Kingston. Yeah. I will add a bit more options on the pedal height. So, already you can, the pedal height, mm -hmm. you can, you have two settings, but they are really close together, so you can just move it like two millimeters. But you want to go lower, Three mile, right? three mil. So yeah, at least more options, maybe. Okay. We're not like. I don't know if that will change a lot on the kind of springs right in the wheel. It's gonna be good but, to go a bit lower. But a bit lower, I think. A bit for lower urban lower. for urban uh, riding or for city riding, I think it's really better. Riding, yes, uh, it's quick translation: better. urban, urban, urban. urban. <laughs> not anyway. Right. So in town, lower the better. Right. So yeah. okay, but for racing and stuff, probably. No, for off road, high. yeah. higher. And also for hard cornering, I mean, some people like to really lean, and obviously the higher the pedals, you can lean more. Well, oh, no. Yes, it's nah. physics. Duh. I mean, I mean, I could draw a diagram. Okay. But obviously, okay. you lean no, over no, 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 straight the pedals. I mean, Again, like, you are taller, but you feel like you know. I mean, it's not as confident to lean when it's, you are that high. So yes. Yeah, but you scrape the a pendulum. Of course, you have more leverage. Yeah. Yes, agree. But it doesn't feel correct. It was that, it doesn't, race, doesn't feel that, right. that race with Black Cobra on the V11 where he kind of like beat everybody because he could lean harder because the pedals were so high. So he, he, he won a race on a V11. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Corner harder. Yeah. Thank you. That's no, what I meant. Yeah, lean harder. harder. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Corner, corner, corner. Not, not lean that way. Corner. Oh. Oh, you didn't. Uh, what angle does it cut out? Is that adjustable? Thanks. Well, that's another <laughs> yeah. thing. Another thing. Yes, actually. The angle of sideways. To cut out, uh, which it can uh, on the app you can select up to seventy percent. Yeah, it doesn't work. I think so, because it's too tall. Yeah. So have you tried to, um, regardless of whether you have the cutout set at forty-five or seventy, um, if the wheel is moving at all, it won't cut out. If you oh, have it cut yeah, out, cut out sideways. sideways. Someone sideways. said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you leave, um, it cuts out. If you're just sitting there, it cuts out. I mean, we, our bumper failed, so the front bumper one yeah. break because of that. I mean, Leaning. it was pretty slow. Well, no, but she was, I think, yeah, I think she actually was, she was almost stopped when she fell over. So Yeah, I yeah, it was that, a really slow, Yeah, but she was moving. Really slow, because really, really okay. slow. So, so the question is, what speed does it go up to 70 degrees? All right. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. comments about the seat. It works, but it ain't great. I think that's the takeaway, isn't it? And it keeps on falling off. And that's the top pad as well. That's too wide. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not a... I don't know if you can see this very well, but the seat just sits up on top. Yeah. And if they molded the seat to be uh, around the corner, 
then you could Velcro the seat to the sides right. and the top. It would feel way better. Yeah. Um, it just sits on top here, and it has like three narrow strips of Velcro, of Velcro and it just rips right off, and the Velcro fails, and then you can't use the seat. And the back of the seat's not stiff enough, so when you're when you're braking, when you're seated, and you're trying to brake to slow down, the back of the seat squishes down, and it, you feel like you're going to fall off the back. So it's stiffer. stiffer no, nobody likes a above. squishy rear end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then the side here, like where they have the casting, it's really, uh, it's, it's bumpy. Like it's not one, one surface. Mm. If they could just make this one smooth surface, then you could attach Velcro here real easily and secure, you know, pads or seats. So some, some changes here would be great. Okay. Well, the only other thing is the sound of the motor. That's kind of a few comments. It's not, it's not this kind of clean, smooth, lovely rs -y sort of. It kind of groans and moans, but every King song I've ever written does that, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, some in some videos of people pointing at the suspension, which I think nah. is wrong. But uh, oh, what the sound of the motor? It's, yeah, it's, especially when you first. That's not the suspension. Is the yes, it's not. So, no, no, it's the motor. It's a King song sound. Yes. What about the display that you have to look between your legs? Yeah, that does. Yes. I can't. I work. can't see it. I would like to be bigger and have more information, like to be able to ride, see how fast you go, and how much better you have. Even to have. see it, it's got to be. Full, I mean, the size it? is fine. It's just the location. If I was bigger, then maybe I could see it. But you know, as a short guy, I can't. You know, it's, just, you know, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know. um, so yeah, that's probably in the wrong place. But I mean, the display seems to work fine. Other than that, I would like to have more information. You want like, more information? Yes. I don't need that much information. How I mean, fast when I read on this yeah. by sermon, I just look at the battery indicator. I don't look at the, the speed, I <laughs> nothing else. Just the battery indicator. How hard can I? I mean, I kind of use this watch thing anyway, so I'm kind of cool. With it, so. <laughs> we use these cheap watches over here and they, they just work. You just strap, you just put them on and. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, that, that one. Yes. Cheap watch. Yeah, that's, that's a nice feature. Yeah, yeah. For, I mean, for me, the display is fine. The speed is what they need. Right, right any other niggles? <sighs> oh, no, lights. We talk about the lights. Well, we tried adjusting the suspension. We couldn't get it right, could we? It was hard. But we put it hard. So when the wheel arrives, you can move actually the coil with your hands. Yeah. So we tight. Okay, we so make it, could, we maybe make it too tight. The for spring some. Yeah, yes. coil spring. Coil. Uh, is there any alternative coils? There yeah. will be, for sure there will be. Because now you have a big spring, looked, it's not like the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I've heard it's... comments from somebody in the community that the size they picked, like the, the distance, you know, center to center distance of the shock, that the size they picked to design is not a common size. Really? So there would be less options for aftermarket. So that's what I've heard. I haven't. I haven't done my own research to find out if there are alternative aftermarket shocks available, but hopefully, hopefully they pick a common size. Hmm. Okay. You know, usually with this type of a spring coil setup, you can take it apart. You can change the coil the to coil, a yes. heavier spring or a lighter spring. Yes. And then you know the, it already has the dampening adjustment and the compression adjustment, so or the rebound adjustment. So that's it's pretty. It's a pretty. Um, adjustable shock you can set it to whatever you want but you got to be able to change that coil and if you can't find the right length coils on the aftermarket then it's going to be it's going to be tougher yep. yes all right so so i mean in summary i mean look there's a lot they've got right here there's a few niggles which are pretty much correctable um there's you know a bit of a question still with the talk but i think they've kind of fixed that with the firmware so yeah so yeah, thumbs no. up, thumbs up from, thumbs up, from, yes. from, from yes. podcast number two. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a good wheel. We've got to work on it. Right. Um, right, I suppose that kind of, has anyone else got any kind of like uh, points mm. about either the S20 or World War Three that we want to talk about or be yeah, okay? No, that's fine. Okay. okay. Let's keep it. Cool. Let's keep it short. Let's keep it classy. Keep <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, Nathan, thank you very Nathan. much. Nice yeah, to see you again. Me on, guys. Nice hey, to that's see totally you all right. It's really good to actually meet you even on a zoom yeah. cool yeah yeah All absolutely right. oh barcelona yes oh going? yes are yes. you yes are you going i don't know yet <laughs> how do we get our wheels let's meet that oh we're gonna we're drive. Gonna drive. Can drive yeah they're not allowed so, on the train 
or no. what train? Europe. Oh, you're a No, no, no. no. We're gonna, we're gonna drive. drive. We drive yeah. from here. Okay, you're gonna drive. From we're here. gonna drive. Yes. So you can fly over How to the UK and then. Ah, well, yeah. a lot. So it's not uh, as far as. 18 hours, I think. Yeah, you've 18, done it. 20 hours. <laughs> I mean, I went. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> 10 hours each. <laughs> I would love to go. And if I go, um, it would be wonderful to come to Pet first. And hang out with you guys, and then go to the event. That's so, a, that's sounds like a trip. That's, that's an option. Yeah. So, are yeah. you guys going to go immediately back to work? So, if I go to the event first and then meet with you guys at your shop after, is that also work? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So Although I might kind of hang out on the beach and do yes. the rambus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take a look at the calendar and talk to my wife. We've got four young kids, so it's uh, traveling <laughs> internationals. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's right. Tough. Fair dues. Yeah. Fair dues. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, let's wrap this up. Um, thank you for the lovely Kyla who's in the background producing this and, and doing everything. And, you know, thanks to the world. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nathan. Thank, thank you, Nathan. You.